Hi, it's Gadget UK here again. Um, if you remember my last video there on the uh, you know building an arcade stick um, using the, the, the wood wooden shell there that came from uh, Stella Boxhead, um, one of the things I did is cut off connector and I said you know leave yourself a, a bit of clearance. Now I did cut this quite short because I wanted quite a long length on the uh, the cable, but w one of the benefits of doing that actually um, is I can now take this really cheap crappy and I'm, I mean it's like you can squeeze it. It's so shit. It really is it's like it was like two pounds or something from eBay and it's just all. Awful. It really is. It feels like a toy controller. There's no way you can actually use that. Um, but it's got and it's got a really short lead. And you can see this is like I don't know. It's about half a meter. It's ridiculously short. But what I can do now is um, take this lead out of here um, and join it up to this. Use some heat shrink, and I've got an adapter from uh, Neo Geo to D-Type, you know, Atari. So I'll be able to connect it to the Amiga, the Atari, the ST, etc., and use the arcade stick on there. So that's exa exactly what I'm gonna do with this now. Now the cool thing is, because I made a note of all of the colors uh, and the pin numbers on the, the 15 uh, pin connector in the previous video, I know exactly which wires go to uh, which, you know, pins on this uh, socket here. Bear in mind, obviously, that the, the orientation's flipped around. Uh, I think on the, uh, as you look at the uh, female Part, this is the male part. If you look at the female part, I think it went one, two, three, blah, blah, blah. This is going to go one, two, three, four, all the way across here, and then uh, continue on from down there this way, I think. Uh, I've got that. Yeah, that yeah, it should do. Um, but the important things, let's say, I know the colours, uh, so it should be a breeze, really, to wire this up. All I need to do is uh, you know, disconnect this cable here, um, and then use the multimeter again to uh, work out I think, and I think it's the top one to remember, you've got something like up, down, left, right, fire, or it might be up, down, left, right, skip it, and then fires the sixth one down or something on the other side. But uh, yeah, so it should just be a case of just joining up the two together, and I'm not going to have any anywhere near as many wires, because I've not got all the different buttons, you know, there's five or six, six buttons actually on the Neo Geo, whereas you've only got one on a standard 2600 type, you know. Uh, joystick there, just the directions uh, and the ground. So I think it's like six wires in total. So it should be pretty easy uh, joining this up. And as I showed in the previous video, just use a bit of solder there to push into the connector to make a connection. That way you can put your meter on one side and then test the individual wires you know that come off here to work out which wire goes to which pin. So in terms of the wire and connector, I ordered one of these cheap uh, joypads. Look at the state of it. <laughs> can you believe it's arrived? like that. It wasn't even in a jiffy bag, it's absolutely crushed. So I think you can see what it's like inside. Uh, it's just really cheap packaging as well. <sighs> God, awful. This is the sort of thing you expect on an Ashton's video, this sort of product. Uh, seriously, I had to show you this. I'm taking the screws out of here and I'm like, okay, that's the first screw, yeah, let's go to the second screw. Yeah, no problems at all. Let's come down to the third screw. Uh, what's going on here? And I was like, what the fucking hell's going on with this screw? Different screwdrivers on it. You know what? It's plastic. No, I shit you not. They have moulded a screw head into the fucking case. That looks like it's a screw. It's not. It's a piece of fucking plastic. And for those of you that don't believe me, there you go. <laughs> there is no screw. What the hell? Why the hell would you do that? You've, that's just ridiculous. That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Oh dear, is all I can say really in terms of the quality. That is absolutely shit. Seriously. That wasn't even worth the two pounds I paid for it. Because the, the cable quality is probably going to be crap anyway. But I mean, I can remove it here now. This is, uh, you know, pull the grommet off or something. I might even just leave the grommet on. I don't know. Um, but that PCB, God, that's just awful. Absolutely awful. Um, well look at this, you know. Oh God. I wouldn't even want to reuse those in something else. They're just really shit, really flimsy, really thin. Um, God. Terrible, absolutely terrible. That goes down as the worst controller I've ever seen. Um, not just the build quality, but just the components and things as well, you know. These plastic buttons, you can squeeze them. They just they feel like it, it feels like a toy. It seriously feels like a toy. What's that there's at the start button? I think it is anyway. The rest of this stuff's just gonna go in the bin. I might just keep these just in case there's something where I can cut it to size and I don't know. I don't think I'm ever gonna use them to be honest, but I've got a, a box full of silicons, I'll just stick those in there. They might they might prove useful at some point. As you can see I trimmed off the uh, the cable here. 
tinned all the ends it makes it a bit easier when you're measuring connectivity rather than having strands of wire so just to show you here what you do just for people that perhaps have never done anything like this before um, you know, let's say get your solder in there one meter contact on, on there hold that in place uh, and then with the other meter probe uh, you make it switched into continuity you know if you move around like say you'll eventually find a wire where you get short just make sure it's definitely the way you think it is pull it out on its own yeah it is the grey so the ground pin 8 is going to the grey wire and then just make a note of them as I've done here so I know exactly which one which colour corresponds to up down left right the fire button and ground um, and then it really is simply a case of uh, sliding a piece of heat shrink tube in over here I'll make it sort of about an inch or so in length uh, join up uh, the you know the relevant directions here based on the colours to the directions and the colours on here um, and then obviously slide the heat shrink tube in over and eat it with uh, some hot air or the neck of the solder iron or something I'll perhaps use the neck of the solder iron in this case because I don't want to get my hot air out um, ideally I should have left a longer length on here you know it's, it's going to be subject to future damage if I don't make the heat shrink really tight there um, it, ideally you know you'd use a connector where you can get access to the pins at the back and then you just solder it straight to the back of the connector and there'll be a strain relief and all the rest of it and it shouldn't be a problem but uh, as you've seen you know this previously came off the the cable there that I used to make the arcade stick to start with so I thought actually I'd use hot air to heat shrink this it just makes it a bit easier it's a bit cleaner and tidier uh, you can see I've slid two different thicknesses of heat shrink over here um, so I'll just get that in place I've set it to 100 degrees uh, might need to go hot in that, I'm not sure. We'll see, find, find out. Yeah, I can feel that. Yeah, 100 degrees might not be hot enough, so. Oh, it is. Can you see that shrinking? Yeah, so it's like I say, it's better doing it this way because it just looks cleaner. You could use the neck of the solder now, as I've done one. I think I did it actually when I was covering one of my. MVS consolization videos, I use the neck of the iron there and typically when I'm doing small AV mods and things I'll just use the neck of the iron but this is working quite well I think there you go, all heat shrunk, so I mean I wouldn't want to pull that you know because they're pretty delicate solder connections inside and I just use really small pieces of insulation tape to isolate them and then the wires that weren't used on each cable I've either snipped them off at this side because they're just not used and on this side I just flip flip them, you know, bend them back so they're under the heat shrink here actually nowhere near the parts where the connections are and they're all taped up anyway so yeah, it doesn't look that clean but actually this now means like I say I can use uh, any of my MVS uh, or AAS controllers on uh, anything that uses an Atari um, joystick, so that's like the ST, the Amiga, C64, Spectrum. Well, the Spectrum is a bit of an odd one actually because it's a plus two, so it's got an SGS interface, so that won't work. But you can use it on any Kempston, uh, Kempston type interface, uh, you know, if you've got on one of those on a Spectrum. So in my case, I think I've got like the Divide E and it's got a Kempston uh, joystick port on the back, so should work on that. Uh, and I think it'll work on Amstrad's um, and many other systems, you know, that support the standard Atari. 2600 um, joystick pinouts. So I've got the arcade stick connected here to the Amiga. I'll show you. Uh, I've got it here. Um, and I've hit fire button. That should start the game, I think. So I know the camera's going to be wobbling all over because I'm looking to hold the damn thing. So as you can see, I can move left, right, up, down, and I can fire. Um, the other nice thing I've added in here, which you might want to consider if you're going to do something like this yourself, I'm going to kill that bastard there. Uh, C and D go left and right. So for those games where you're going to do, you know, like track and field, decathlon, etc., you can use uh, the C and the D buttons. I'll just show you. I'm pressing those, and obviously that's corresponding to left and right movements. Anyway, I thought you found that interesting. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.